know, do a superhero 404. Like, that's the nemesis. Like, that's the villain of, yeah. The, yeah. of the hell on the You've Bible destroyed story. the universe. You've destroyed the site. Anyways, everybody, welcome to another episode of What's New in the 502. And we have an exciting story to tell with Tim's brother. So, Tim, what's your brother up to these days? You know, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen him in a while. That's terrible family relations. <laughs> you should fix that. No, he... Um... <laughs> he's a big comic book guy, so yeah, he's, yeah. he's had comic books since I can remember, and uh, collected them and traded them and sold them, and so he's just always like that kind of thing. So he got involved with that Phantom Fest downtown, huh? and uh, he uh, became a volunteer for that. That was about four years ago, I think, and. Uh, uh, the first time he did it, he uh, hosted like one of the celebrities. He would just be their uh, volunteer celebrity, and I don't really know what that entailed. He'd run around. He was just kind of the guy that would just like if they needed a water, he'd go over and get a water. Yeah, and he'd yeah. Start up to the booth, right. Or he and, and that, he'd, so. he'd help them with the line, like the autograph line. And yeah. Hand them the stuff to sign and that kind of thing. Not a bodyguard, but just not, sort of not a bodyguard. No. Yeah. And the first time he did it, he was with the original guy that played uh, Doctor Who. Oh, nice. Yeah, and that guy was also in uh, one of the Lord of the Rings movies and The Hobbit, I think. Yeah. And so he really liked that guy. He really enjoyed that guy. It would have been the brown wizard who had the bird crap. Yes, in that was yeah. him. That was him. And then last year he was with um, a wrestler. I can't remember the wrestler's name, but. He really enjoyed that too. So he's been doing it for for a few years now, and they uh, kind of have grown to uh, depend on him to come and do the volunteering. So this year they had their meeting, and uh, they asked him to stay afterwards uh, after everybody left. And he thought, okay, you know what's going on? I don't know. What, <laughs> what did I do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> and he yell at me, and uh, he said, you know, we uh, we really can depend on you, and uh, we want you to. Uh, assist Stan Lee this year so he's gonna really nice yeah so he was really excited he he texted me and I was like what's wrong what's wrong something wrong he says no 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 I get to I get to be with Stan Lee and you know follow him around and do his autographs and stuff like that well that's pretty cool man so yeah that that's uh that's amazing that your brother gets these opportunities I remember one year you told me he had uh with the cast of Star Trek oh yeah 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 had lunch with him that it wasn't when he was escorting the guy that played the wizard in Lord of the Rings it was like yeah the guy inviting him to come have lunch yeah and yeah. they walk into this room cafeteria and there's like Jonathan Frakes and mm -hmm. uh just basically the entire cast except for uh Picard was it was he yeah, there? Picard was not there uh, but uh, the guy that plays war. Data and the yeah. guy that the the female that could read your mind or whatever. Yeah. she was there, and uh, I think the guy that was the first officer, and uh, and then the guy that was um, the the uh, the Klingon or yeah, Worf. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm I'm more of an episode uh, season three and four guy. If I was to look at Next Generation, and I'm, and then most of the fandoms like that, like. If they were to ever do anything again with that series, I think three and four would probably be the ones they would not want to touch. I mean, Star Trek Next Generation is just so solidified with the with Trekkies that you just, you know. So yeah. that was an amazing opportunity they got. Yeah. Is, he, is he getting autographs at least? Oh, yeah. He's got a room downstairs uh, in his basement. It's kind of like a man cave. But man, he's got all these autographs all over the place. And, and it says, to Adam, thanks for a great job. One story was uh, the guy that was the captain on um, Battlestar Galactica. What was his Edward James almost? Yep. Yep. He came. Uh, I think it was last year, or the year before, and um, uh, he was like a little next to my brother. My brother was some was with somebody else or something. I can't remember the whole gist of it, but uh, he was talking to a guy that was standing next to him, to Edward James almost, and he says, "Man." I really love that show, and I just, that last scene where he flies the spaceship and she's dying, and I don't know if you've you ever seen it, yeah. but Edward James almost overheard him talking, and uh, he says, Adam, I really appreciate you watching the show, and he gave him a big autograph, and wow. just gave him a picture, wow. so he's got that up downstairs, and so yeah, he's got all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Right. So, Fandom Fest is this weekend, we don't get any money on saying anything about that, we just wanted to uh, share our connection with it, as, uh, as far as Tim's brother and the opportunities he's gotten, 
Uh, this is what's new in the 502. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. It'll be somewhere around here. And uh, follow us on uh, Facebook and Twitter. And uh, listen to, uh, don't forget to Nerd Brand. It's on every other Wednesday. We'll be publishing a new episode. And uh, we just uh, did episode five, which is nonprofits and how the big boys do nonprofits. And with the owner of the company, Bill Reynolds, on August 3rd, we'll be doing a nonprofit seminar for Center of Nonprofit Excellence here in Louisville. Um, and then our next episode, we have an exciting guest, uh, Lindsay Hansen from WBNA TV, will be with us to geek out over everything that happened at Comic Con in San Diego this past weekend. And some of the branding things that changed. If you're a fan of any of the Marvel movies, they did a major 80s retro vibe on everything. It's kind of <laughs> fabulous. So, anyways, tune in next time, and we'll be back with you next week with another What's New in the 502. See ya. Bye.